Hi, boys and girls. Today you read a story called A Walk on the Moon. And this story was about the first U.S. trip to the moon. There were three astronauts that went on the voyage to the moon. Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. This was a big accomplishment for the United States. Well, today we are going to be talking about some important parts of this story. We are going to be talking about the genre. What kind of story was this? We're going to be talking about informational text features. We're going to be talking about shades of meaning and sensory words. I'm sure you know that this story is a true story. It really happened. We call that genre nonfiction when it is about something that is true or something that really happened. We also know that the story was trying to teach us information. And when a story is an informational text, we often see these things. We see photos, we see captions, an author also picks their words carefully. They pick words that show exactly what they mean. Words can have similar meaning. Some words are stronger than others. We call that shades of meaning. This author used the word small instead of tiny. Right here I see that's one small step. Well, the author did not choose the word tiny because maybe this author meant small. Tiny seems much smaller. This author used giant when, he, when the author said one giant leap for mankind. Giant has a stronger meaning than big. Authors also use descriptive language. They use sensory words or words that appeal to our senses. We know that our senses are touch, sight, smell, taste, and sound. Let's see if we can find some words that appeal to our senses. The author writes, the eagle was heading for a huge pile of rough boulders or rocks. The word rough describes boulders and rocks. Rough is a sensory word because it tells me what something feels like. It appeals to our touch sense. Also, the author uses the word smooth. This also tells me about how something feels. The author says, a cloud of moon dust rose up. Boys and girls, that gives me a picture of what it will look like. So I'm appealing, or the author is appealing to my sense of sight. Let's look for other descriptive language. Here, I see he described the soil as fine, dusty powder. Fine and dusty tell me what the powder was like. Here the author says, so bouncing around was easier than walking. That tells me about what it is like to walk on the moon. Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned about genre, informational text features, shades of meaning, and sensory words. Let's see if you can find these this week.